welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing, I don't know, kind of a massive mask kidding up event again. Um, I did get a whole bunch of dubbing paintings recently and yeah, I, I'm planning to actually kit these all up. Um, and then if I'm still feeling it, I'm going to kit up this regular drill one. So these are all special partials and my mom said she'd do a couple of them. So and hence why I'm like, okay, let's just kit them all up. Um, I, I'm on the, I've been kitting up a lot of my um, new diamond paintings, mainly because then I don't have to put it away. Um, <laughs> I feel like if it's, if it's kitted up, I don't have to put it away. So, into my stash, because then I'm more likely to do it, right? So I'm going to do this one first, mainly because I think it's the one with the most colors. And I actually am very... I don't have, I don't, I need, I need to kit down, like, you may think that I'm doing tons of kitting down, and I am, I'm just, I actually have three kitting downs already recorded at this point, I'm planning to record one tomorrow, and I'm, I'm, I'm running out of, I'm running out of, um, storage, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think I have any more storage that is, oh, here, this one is still, separated. I'm thinking of using Tic Tac containers. Uh, it's just that with my mom doing some too. Yeah, we will see. So I'm just going to, let's see, that one. See, this is everything I got in this unboxing of from this company. There, there's this picture. So I'm like, where did I put my journal? I knew I knew my journal was with me. I just have to change the page. So next page um, Here so Do I even have enough journal pages? <laughs> um, I just printed a couple journal pages if I I'm thinking the next journal I'm gonna try and see if no, I don't know. I might keep it still this orientation I wanted to see if I get my journal this orientation so then I'd be able to Put it this way if I save the picture for this side. Um, but but yeah, we we'll, we'll, we will see. Like I said, everything is a uh, wait and see if I can. Then I would just put yeah, and I kind of like putting the picture though. Wait, how's this orientation? No, it's like this. I like putting the picture here though. Yeah. It'll be one of those, we'll see how I feel after <laughs> words. So this one, what did I call this one? Mm, brown? Brown flower quilling? There's a couple flower quilling qu pictures in this here. Um, so, I don't know how to... So these are all from DIY Choose. Um, and they sent these for a PR package and you will see hopefully the finish of some or all or some <laughs> Probably I'm going for it might just be some and with the unboxing and so this has 17 colors and Where are my drills? This is YXC052 YX There why I happened to find it right away so there's 17 colors in this one. There is a crystal code, and I'm recording this on 1-8-2022, in case you want to know how far ahead this video is, because I'm, I think this is going to get posted like two weeks later. So let's see. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 specials. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight crystal rhinestones. And I'm just going to cut out the legend here. There's two of them um, to make the labels from them. So. And. I'm going to make the labels just using some double-sided tape here 
or should I use the wider double-sided tape? Yeah, the wider one. Um, and hopefully I won't have a problem taking them off the containers. Um, hopefully it'll just peel off in just like one layer from the containers, so that should be fine. Um, and then I have my label um, paper from making labels, and I'm just going to use the backing here. So that I could stick this on here and then be able to cut them out easily. I could have also used the back of my my thumbnail picture because I used label paper on that too. Um, but I have this one here and it's longer. So man, this this is some thick canvas like cutting the canvas is it's much thicker than just cutting like paper or something so I'm gonna cut this so I'll save that for later and in case I need it so wait I'm I should put a label onto here this is actually inventory number 419 for me and then I also like to put in a so I'm gonna do number 419 flower, which yes, if you've been watching my channel, I do a, I do a good amount of flowers. <laughs> so flower is not the most descriptive thing for me, but I do put in the number of my canvas in there. So that's what I figure. That's why I put that in there. So this is, here, this is number one. Just making sure I'm starting at the right side. So, is this some static? No, it's just stuck. Like it's, it's like, I'm, I'm like dreading static now every time I kit something up. I'm like, oh my gosh, is this gonna be the one with the static? <laughs> so, so yeah, I am actually kidding this up directly after my kidding up video from last week. So, I, yeah, what did I talk about in that video? <laughs> um, so, my talking points might be very, very minimal today because I pretty much did my talking last time. Um, so yeah, I think... I think for January, um, other than the first one, you're just going to see me kit up the things for the PR packages just because I'm trying not to kit up too many projects so that I could finish more of my older ones. Um, I do have, I think the next one I might kit up that's outside of my PR packages will be my Heaven and Earth Designs one. But I think I won't do that till February. Um, just because I know I'm not going to get to it in January. So why kid it up? Um, but unless unless a next my another PR package does not come in time for me for that for the next kidding up. I mean like for the next Friday video. Um, then I will kid it up. <laughs> it just depends if I get another package. Um, and I, I was, I was, I did two kidding ups for this, um, this weekend because these actually both came at the same time, even though there were like this one, un this one, unfortunately, like this took a little longer than normal to get to me. I don't know if you noticed, but I do put in the order date there and in the deliver date. And then this 41 is how long it took to get to me, 41 days. Normally, um, these diamond paintings get to me really quickly, like two or three weeks, so I only um, I only get my PR packages one or two a week to make sure that I'm not just like drowning in PR packages um, because I could be drowning in PR packages. Um, so 
but there are times when something just takes too long to come. And this one, it's it it. They did send me a message and said that the ship the 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 it, the, the shipment act got sent back to them for whatever reason, so they had to reship it. So. So yeah, this was it was it just took long not because of the company but because just it just took long because of the sh the shipping. Like I don't know if why it got sent back. Um it could just be, you know, it just happened to get sent back that time. Normally I would get I would get packages um in 2 to 3 weeks from from China. Um So in case you want to know, and I live in Washington State, so yeah, usually it takes me two to three weeks to get a package. It took a little longer um, in December just because of the holiday season and it was really busy for them. And they might not have prioritized sending my stuff because, you know, they have paying customers. <laughs> so I, I get that too. Um, and then I we had crazy weather in Washington, so like even the stuff I was ordering on Amazon like the, for the first week of January, they took a while to get to me, cause because of the weather, there was snow on the ground. Like I ordered stuff at the last week of December, and it didn't get to me until um, end of end of the first week of January, just because the roads were were bad and the last time i went grocery shopping it was the like the store was depleted like i went i went to i went grocery shopping um and i was gonna buy some eggs but there were no eggs like the only eggs left over were the the overly expensive kind which i'm like it's just eggs i don't need to buy the overly expensive kind um but like just the normal ordinary eggs there was none left and i was thinking okay i guess i'm not buying eggs um but i mean it could have just been what day did i go i went on i went on third no wait i went on no i went on third no i went on wednesday um uh, maybe they they just hadn't received their shipment but it could just be that the snow messed up all the transportation and the flooding because Washington after the snow melted was getting tons of flooding so and the agricultural area I think is more eastern Washington so yeah snow snow flooding yeah it, it, either either way <laughs> when I went grocery shopping there were no eggs I mean, I'm sure if I went somewhere else, there would have been eggs, maybe. I don't know. Um, it just happened to be that's the place I went at that time. Because, yeah. Because I needed to return something. Um, and the UPS store is right next to Safeway. So I went to Safeway. Yep, no eggs. Um, I was, I was going to buy some bagels, too. Because my mom has been eating bagels. I, I didn't really eat bread before. <laughs> Because I've been, you know, trying, trying to lessen how many carbs I ate. I didn't really eat bread un until my mom came to visit and she's like, I want bread. And I'm like, okay, I guess I'm buying bread. And then when it's there, you eat it. My whole, like, if you don't buy it, you can't eat it diet <laughs> got messed up. <laughs> that was, that was my, that's my really messed up diet. If you don't buy it, you can't eat it. Um... <laughs> Oh, there's one more. If you don't buy it, you can't eat it. So, but see, since I bought it so for my mom, I'm eating it. <laughs> so, but yeah, no, I, it's it's just like there was no bagels either. So I ended up just getting like ordinary sliced bread, um, and I'm. Mainly because I think, like, my mom's favorite bread in the Philippines is, like, I think it's called, um, man, do I remember my, my stuff, my, f <laughs> eh, uh, it's called Monai, um, and it's, it's a very, very dense bread, and I would say probably, an, it, 
um, what's it called? A bagels are nowhere near similar at all to Monai. It's just it's similar in density. Um, like there's very little air pockets in the bread, and and I think that's why my mom liked the bagels. And plus, I don't think there's I don't think they do bagels in the Philippines. So she's like, "Ooh, bagels!" So I was gonna buy her some bagels. Which one is this one? This is probably the purple one. The purple. I have a hard time naming these things. Um, so then, so then I, yeah, I went, I was going to go buy bagels and there were none in Safeway. Maybe I should have went to Costco. The only thing is Costco is, is kind of a drive for me. It's not that bad. It's only like a 15, 20 minute drive, but with, um, 24 by 33 and a half. No, it's 34. Um, but Safeway's on my way home from work while Costco requires me actually going somewhere farther. And with the days like getting dark right away, I was just like, eh, I'll just go. I'll just go to. I don't really like the driving in the dark, so as much as I try I don't I as much as I can I don't and you can't really stop it now in in this season just because um it Washington it does get it does get there's no well these do have codes they have codes okay so there is a crystal code and it's still 1 8 2022 so seven colors one two Two are crystal rhinestones, and one, two, three, four, five are special. Um, so I guess I'll cut this one out. Um, but yeah, I guess I could have went to Costco and got Costco bagels, but nope. It would have been a longer trip. And sometimes when you're done with work and you just want to go home, you just want to go home. You don't want to have to drive farther. I'm going to write down the codes on these because it does have the crystal code on there. So, number one. Hey, number one is one. I'm going to use a different color. Let's use red. So number one is one. Number two is 56. Three is Z1. This is Z103. D103. Six is A54. And this is A67. So I'm just writing the crystal code on there and let's cut this a little since it's a little wide and let's get the double-sided tape again here it doesn't fill the whole label but as long as it keeps the label on there I'm okay and then let's use the back side of the thumbnail picture that's like because I, I use sticker paper there so there to do my oh that's really thick canvas there can you really hear it there so I'm hoping this will fit in here I do have like one a couple more more slots in here so Oh yeah, and I was going to say what this one is. This one is number 417 flower. Yes, not going to figure that one out, but if you could see the number, it might be good enough. 417 Where's my box? Oh, there it is. I don't know. 
Should I not skip this one? Yeah, they look different. They look different enough that it'll be fine. So I'm hoping, like I said, these look different enough that it'll be fine. Oh. So I have no idea what I was talking about. What's I talking about? What's I talking about? This is the problem when you do more more than one um, kidding up at the same time, and then you get distracted in the middle. Maybe I'll just talk about nothing right now. Okay, seems like there is some static in this one. I wonder if they're all gonna be like that, this, or or what? Should I like rub some um? So let's put. This one still has a number one. Hey, at least number one is also crystal code one. Um, so. What was I talking about? I don't know. I'm gonna go get my dryer sheet just because I think I will be very annoyed if this has static um, and just wipe wipe the outside of the bags. I don't know if it's going to do anything. Um, but I figure, better than nothing. And then wipe this. There. And I'm going to put some lotion on. My hands actually have gotten pretty dry since I started the video. There. So, what are we on? Number two. And I forgot everything I was talking about. So, I, like I said, I don't know if wiping the outside will be in any way, shape, or form a hindrance or help, but at this point, I'm just, I just want, I just want it to be a not so. So there was still static in there, and the, the whole breathing into it usually works on the most part. Maybe I need to drink some water so that I could rehydrate my, my breath. <laughs> um, oh, wait, where's my stickers? This is number two. So here's number two. Um, and... Let's write two. There. So, you know what I think I'm going to do is so that they're not separated there. And hopefully, none of the other things need multiple containers. Number three here. But, yeah. I don't, I guess I, I don't know, what was I talking, it's, it's because I, I'm kidding up two things in a row, because last week's kidding up, I just finished recording shortly before I started this one. I need to drink some water, maybe. <laughs> so, so yeah, my topics are dwindling, dwindling. So it was my first week at work. Um, as the interim supervisor, um, you know, the first, the first day I was just like, I was kind of bombarded with like, you know, scheduling, like, can you do this, 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 um, will your group be able to do this, this, and this, and this, and I'm like, I just, and I was thinking in my brain, I just started, um, uh, I wish I got these questions like on Wednesday instead of Monday, because one, I was coming from a two week break. Um, and, you know, from Christmas and two, it was my very spanking first day. Um, so Monday I did spend, I, I, I worked from home mainly because, um, I figured I would have 50 million emails. I came, I came, I started work and I had, I had like over a hundred emails, which I was, I was surprised with because <laughs> it was the holiday. How much more people were going to email during the end of the year? Apparently, a lot. So I, I had to go through over a hundred emails. Um, I mean, a lot of them was junk mail, kind of junk emails from companies, you know, saying Merry Christmas or something that we get supplies from. Um, 
But yeah, it was still way more <laughs> emails than I thought I was going to be getting in the first, over the holiday. But I'm glad I stayed home that day because it did give me some time to just like orient myself. Um, I had to get my... Um, so this one has 12. I'm going to just use... Pondering whether to use my Tic Tac containers. I might just use my Tic Tac containers and see what my mom thinks. And I'll just find ones that look a little different. Or I'll, we'll see. Tic Tac containers. And... Oh, I know. I'm, do I have a highlighter here? Because I was thinking if I highlight them in different colors, then maybe it will be more obvious which one's which. Well, I don't have a highlighter, but I have this neon pink thing here. So that's, yeah, you can still read. And this is just so that, you know, <laughs> so I could, they could differentiate which one's which, right? Um, so, is this going to fit? Yes. So I'm going to see if I can write in teeny tiny writing. What is this next one? This next one is... See, I'm, I'm like doing things in like multiple orders. Yeah. Here, I'm doing this parrot here. Um, so it's this parrot here. Let's see. Do I have another page in my journal? Um, <laughs> My parrot. See, I didn't used to show these being kitted up. Um, I would just kind of do them one by one um, because I didn't know what I would finish kind of thing. So I'd finish one and then I'd kit up another one and then I'd finish one and I'd kit up another one. Me kitting these all up at once means that I may, some of them may or not, may not get finished while, be, while how, what I was doing before is 24 was, um, since I was just doing them one at a time, I would, I would actually kit up the next one while, um, right after I finished the previous one. And that way there was never a point 34 that I had something kitted up that I wasn't going to do maybe <laughs> so 24 by 34 but but yeah nope now I'm just mass kitting them up <laughs> so this one is number 420 in my inventory so can I write 420 on this so Anyways, that's number one. So what I was going to do is put the tape again. The tape thing actually is much faster, I think, than doing the Xyron sticker maker thing. Um, and in the long run, if this does work, then it will be um, cheaper than buying refills for the Xyron sticker maker. Um, actually, I don't know if it's faster. I think it's about the same. So here... Oh, this is probably short enough that I could just use the the backing of my picture legend here my, from my from the picture that I just pasted onto there. Um, so so yeah, I think the double sided adhesive thing will work um, as long as you don't get like super super um permanent adhesive double-sided adhesive which i think it'll be fine and then watch when i kit down maybe like a month from now because i'm so far ahead in my kitting up videos that um you won't see this kit down for probably a month even if i finish it um even if i finished it so so yeah we're gonna do this parrot here. Wait, VO87, there it is. Hopefully none of the drills will be like so big um, that they don't fit in this container. Mainly cause I'm running out of containers. I have to kit down again. 
even though I said I'm already like ahead of my kidney down. Oh, it's going this way. But it's upside down to five, six, seven, I don't know. Um, so. One. So what am I gonna, else am I going to talk about? Oh yeah, so my first day, first day, I mean my first week as interim supervisor was a little crazy. Um, I had a couple meetings with folks. Um, I have to get prepared for a presentation next week. Um, what else? Um, yeah, it was just a lot of organizing and I, I have certain ways I like to organize things. So I did kind of redo some calendars just so that I could figure things out. And then I asked everyone for their schedules because you know what, when you're not the supervisor, you don't care when other people are working, but when you are, you actually have to care about when other people are working. So yeah, things I didn't pay attention, I had to pay attention with now. <laughs> so. So yeah, we will see. We will see about this whole like supervising gig. <laughs> I mean, I, it would have to be really horrible for me not to apply for the permanent position when it gets available, but we will see. So far, after after the first couple days, um, it got a little easier later on in the week. Um, but I still have to, but I ha kind of kind of ignored my my previous job, which unfortunately I still have to do because we don't have a replacement for my previous project. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it'll get busy again um, when I when I'm able to put a little bit more. I'm just trying to test to see if this will it won't like peel off. Um, well, it'll get a little bit busier once um everything is more situated um right now it was a lot it was busy but it was more like clerical work um and there's a couple things that i'm still waiting for the perm the rights to uh, like i need other people to give me the rights to do um because they still have to transfer all the stuff to be in me with with me as the supervisor um yeah it's like i said it's been interesting um I think week two will be easier. I like week one. It was it was a little stressful. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. There was even like a day where I didn't end up diamond painting because I was just so tired, and which is crazy because I diamond paint every day. <laughs> but I was just like, okay, I'm just I'm just tired. Um, so the one good thing about the tic tac boxes, I think, is they do hold a little bit more than. Um, than those boxes. Actually, I don't know. Do they hold more? They might be about the same. Never mind. Don't listen to a word I say. Why are you watching my channel? <laughs> um, so yeah, no, it was, it was busy. Um, it, yeah, it, yeah, it, there's just, yeah. <laughs> so, Yeah, the funsies, funsies of supervising, cause fun for all ages. Not kidding. <laughs> but yeah, no, it 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 was. It's like it's like whenever, even though I'm in the same place, and whenever you you're in a new role, you do kind of have just that initial. Um, it's not really a freak out, but just you know, it's just the initial um, stress of the beginning of something. So that's what going through initial, the initial stress of any start of anything new. So, so yeah, I don't know what else to talk about. <laughs> the hazards of doing two kidding ups one after the other. And both of them being probably a long, longish. And I'm only, I'm only on diamond painting number three. I'm almost done with this one. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. So I think the next one I'll highlight. What other colors do I have here? I have. 
I don't know. I won't highlight that one. It'll be so that that could be the one that's white. So there's that one all kitted up. My parrot. So let's move the parrot up. Um, what's my next one? It's this one. It says, Good night, family and friends. May you have a blessed sleep with the sweetest dreams. Much love. So I think this one, there are two legends. I just have to make sure there are two legends because if there aren't, then it makes this much harder because then I'd have to write this all out because I need at least one legend to stay on the canvas. Even though those small ones, you know those small ones that are like 15 by 15, those tend not to have the legend on there. So maybe I'm, maybe I'm kidding. So this one, the white, it says 5200 YGT. That's usually the YGT is like the, the glow in the dark um, symbols. I don't know. I don't know why GT stands for you glow. Two. I don't know. I'm just making things up. Um, I mean, it is a Chinese company, so maybe they just use any sort of lettering to signify certain things. So this one, oh, have to fill out this, my next journal entry here. Here, so where is this one here it's the good night one yep this is my I could use the backing of this and that that works out and when I don't have like just random um, backing from something I could always use the stick back of the sticker here um, and what did I call this one good night it's that one. And let's see. This is 24 by 34. I used to go to like to the millimeter, but I'm just on the which is the closest 0.5. So if it's closer to 34 instead of 30 33.5, it's it's that. Oh, and where's my drills of this one? It's X036. I've been finding the drills really quickly. And famous last words, because then I'm... So this is really a partial. This is super partial. Poured glue. There are 13 colors. There is a crystal code, and it's still 1822. So, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. These are the same color. Well, this is actually a glow in the dark, so so I'm gonna call one round um, a seven, so seven crystals and one, two, three, four, five special. Um, because yeah, one of them. This is just a regular drill. It's just glow in the dark. So maybe it's a special. Eh, it's what I call it to be. <laughs> so. So this one is number 416, so maybe I could use my really thin, I have like a thin pen and I'm hoping I'll be able to still write 416 on this because I don't want to cover the 38, um, so just in case the ink will smear so so far they've all been fitting on my little thumbnail backing of my sticker paper so i've been and the double-sided tape has been adhering relatively well for to this thing so that i could do this cutting out thing because it does make it easier to cut out. So let me move that to the side. So 
I'm going to start the next row. And these ones I'm not, I didn't highlight, so I'm hoping that would be enough of a difference. And I don't know if I have another color. <laughs> I, apparently, I need to buy highlighters. Next thing I do next time, buy some highlighters. I don't think I have highlighters. I'll have to look, af I'll look after this. I'm going to pause and look after and see if I can find some highlighters that are different colors. Oh, I accidentally picked up two, so let's label this next one. Um, I could probably just label them already all. So. So number two here. So that's pouring really well. And they're pouring really well into these Tic Tac containers, which I'm happy about because sometimes the reason the Tic Tac containers sometimes are a pain is the opening is, is really small. Um, but if you get the trick of opening them, I find them easier to open than the, than the twisted top round bottles. Um, those sometimes take too much effort to close. Um, while these you just um, open the latch and pull up and then pull down. Um, I, I prefer the stuff with just the, the latches instead of like the little twisty turny ones. Um, but I have tons of bottles so it's not like I'm gonna get rid of them but the ones with the latches are, do take much less time to open and close. And sometimes just that time you're spending just opening and closing something it's time you don't want to spend doing something else. So I'm wondering if both of these will fit. I, I'm probably going to have to get another one. Two Tic Tac containers. I was also thinking of getting... I, there are the bigger Tic Tac containers that I could also use, but eh, that would require me going to get them. Or would that be better than me labeling something? <laughs> labeling two things. Um, this one does have a lot of, I'm thinking, not so common crystal code numbers, but we will see. So one eight. I, I have to. I have to kit down some of my. I have to kit down my crystals again. <laughs> I'm, I'm running out of containers. That's why I'm using these Tic Tac boxes. But it is actually easier to kit down the Tic Tac boxes um, just because they're clear. So it's easier to do the color matching as opposed to the ones in the, in the more not so clear containers like these ones. So the question is, will the second bag fit in there? I'm thinking it might. So. All right, I think it will. So I'm gonna just put this back there and close this and do a little shaky because I just have just a tiny bit left. There, it does fit, yay! So. Um, so yeah, it does, it, it is easier to kit down with these ones just because the plastic is more clear. So it's easier to, to do the color matching. And I know there are smaller containers of the Tic Tac boxes that only have an X, a smaller amount of boxes, but then they, I, I've noticed that they tend to be like in the box, like flat like that. So I guess what I need is something with just, yeah, that's okay. These 64 containers are not that big. The outer container is not that big. So the one good thing about the Tic Tac boxes is you can kit up a lot of colors um, in a small container. So, so if you have one of those diamond paintings with a lot of colors, but yet it's not that big. Um, you could fit these ones, there's 64 of them. So that might be a thing. 
I think I do have like a diamond painting that has like 60 colors, but it's only a 40 by 50. <laughs> that this one might be a good one to use to kit that up. Or what I'm doing is multiple diamond paintings at once. And hence why I'm doing the kind of multiple colors so that hopefully that will and then I, and the next one I have to find is has to have more um oh yeah I was gonna pause and look for some highlighters or something so then I could have more of the differentiation between these things but there so that one is done. I'm going to do a little pause and drink some water and I'll be back. I'm back. I found a green highlighter so at least now I'll have something if I need to differentiate that one. So this one only has six colors. So I think I'm going to do something with the more colors first. So this one here has ten colors. Oh, there's only one legend. So I don't need my highlighter because I'm, I'm going to have to write out the, the, the labels. Are these two... Are these too wide? I think I'm going to have to take... Yeah, no, these ones are too wide. I think I do have some labels that I got from something that might be the right... Here, these ones are the labels that I think came with... Um, a dreamer designs them painting and they're actually long and skinny if anything they're too long and skinny Ooh. man I think that's good enough though because they, since they are too long I'll just cut the edge they're too they're too long are they too long Yeah, they're a little too long, so I'll just cut a tiny bit off the edge here. Um, there. And now it's the per perfect length, maybe. Um, so, so unfortunately, I'm going to have to write out the things for this one. So this next one, it's, uh, it's this picture here. Let's go to the next page of my journal. Maybe I should move you this way a little bit. Apparently it was a little too far back. Um, most of the action is happening closer to me at the edge here. So that's the top. Just making sure. And this one, this one's probably this one. It says it's 30 by 60. <laughs> there. Um, and let's measure this sucker. Let's see. It's a, oh, I should go to the black line, 25. by 54 yeah 25 by 54 this is a partial drill on poured glue there is a crystal code there's 10 colors and find the drills for this here it is Ten colors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight are crystal rhinestones and two specials. So this is actually all pretty much all crystal rhinestones, and it's one, eight, twenty-two. So I'm gonna move this over there. Oh wait, I was I moved it closer so that I could make the labels. I dropped, dropped something on the floor. I was like, what did I drop on the floor? So 
move this closer to make a label, so maybe I'll write the the symbol in black. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then I'll write the code in blue. 198, 23, 170, 29, 111. I don't get why there's no like multiple legends, but that's. I feel like everything should have multiple legends. You know what? I'm just gonna write 006 on this one so that it doesn't get confused with the actual real number. There. So now I can move this off to the side, move my legend off to the side, start kidding up again. So I think some of these might need multiple containers just from just looking at how full some of these bags are and that there are multiple. So, but we'll deal with that as we go along. Or should I go get the bigger Tic Tac container so that there's only one container um, filled? I kind of feel like these Tic Tac containers look a little different than the ones that I already have, so that's why I'm kind of reluctant. I don't know if they'll they'll be interchangeable. Um, like I feel like I have to go get another of my Tic Tac containers. So I have I do have this container also here. Um, but these have some bigger ones, and I'm wondering if they're the same size, and would I be able to switch the caps? This is the true test. See, these caps are much bigger. It still fits. Will it fit this one? Yeah, no, they... I feel like the one from here is much bigger. The, the cap is a much tighter fit, so that's why I'm kind of reluctant to do the mixing and matching, because, yeah. But as long as you put the right cap back on, it should be fine, right? Um, I don't know. So I think I'm going to have a couple for number two, just because it's... It looks like it's a lot. So let's. I don't know why this one is jumping more than the others. So it does look like I'm gonna have to use. T um, one tic tac container is good for one bag. So I'm gonna have to use three for this one. So, I'm gonna use, I have other labels, some small labels, which, where did I put said small labels? That's a good question. Um, so I have some small labels here, and then I could put in two. I'm going to have two more with number two in there, so. Ooh, I should have, I should have just used these labels instead of these longer ones and then just wrote like the two and then just wrote the little code really small. Would I have been able to fit the code? I don't know, but <laughs> that might have been better. Oh well, too late. I've already written on this other label, so that's what is, but. Now that I'm thinking about it, that's what I could have done. So. There is some static in this one. But it's not that bad. Because <laughs> I've gone through worse static. Still number two. This one seems a lot fuller. Or it's just crimped really to the edge there. Okay. 
then yeah I'm gonna yeah this one might be a little fuller I'm not sure if I'll be able to fit it all into here and I'll have to distribute some into the other containers so yeah they're not even all full like filled the same way not sure if I'm gonna be able to put the top on this one take some off and then add some more after I put the top on there's that and then I'm gonna have to I'm just gonna pour this into here so that I could add more to the other two that might not be as full um, oh, that's it for that one and shake this a little bit so I can get more space there as if I don't have extra tic-tac boxes that I could just put into a fourth one <laughs> so number three it's this beautiful turquoisey color so I ran out of stuff to talk about so I'm just gonna talk about the kidding up um, I think I just did, I just recorded two Kidding Up videos and you just run out of things to talk about. Um, yeah, no, I can't, yeah. Because I already talked about the flooding in last week's video. Um, and then I talked about my YouTube analytics in the last week's video and I've been talking about how stressful work has been. Um, I did start um, the Evermoment diamond painting. Um, I'm about uh, one third done and I have to say the drill quality is actually pretty good. Um, um, what I really do like though is the minimal gapping. I'm not sure if the extra expense is worth it at this point yet but I'll see when it's finished. Um, I do notice the picture seems to be a little bit more saturated than the original picture. So, um, but I'll hold judgment until it's finished. So, yeah. So these ones are like much, like those other ones I was like, I couldn't even put the cap on. So maybe they are a little bit more interchangeable. Um, but yeah, no, I'll hold judgment for the every moment until I'm finished but yeah right now um, I'm enjoying diamond painting it it's just a lot of confetti it's really like really really confetti heavy um, I do notice that on AliExpress diamond paintings they do t especially the ones that are um, computer generated um, the you know the the charting is computer generated. They are very heavy on the confetti. So, and I think I've been doing too many like more simple diamond paintings that that the confetti was just like this is even my Dreamer Designs one. Like I think Dreamer Designs since I was like the last square I did before this one, the Dreamer Designs one there is hand charting in it and it's not as confetti heavy um, as a computer generated one, um, and it's not as comp um, so. Yeah, it, it that one was easy compared to the the ever moment one. So it's a lot of confetti. It's taking me much longer than the last square I did, but it's enjoyable because the drills are um, are pretty good. They're not the most awesome, I think, or like I was expecting super awesome, but I mean they're pretty much on par to a lot of the resin drill ones. Um, there is a little bit less trash I noticed than my Dreamer Design ones that I just I just because I just did that recently. So um, there is a little bit less trash I feel than the Dreamer Designs one I did, but um, but the quality is pretty similar. Um, I don't know what I was expecting, like super super awesome, but I I don't I don't see any difference between the drills from ever moment and um and like other premier diamond painting companies it's just 
they, I, they, there is a lot less trash, I think, for the this resin drills than other resin drills that I've gotten. So, and I do really like the minimal gapping. Um, gapping is one of my like pet peeves <laughs> for diamond paintings. Is like, why is there gapping? I don't get it. Um, gapping is one of my my weird diamond painting pet peeves. So, so, so there is that. I'm happy that. The gapping is minimal. I'm able to multi-place as little as I'm able to multi-place with how much confetti the thing has. And when you put the drills on, you do hear a nice little snap when you put them in the middle of things because, you know, there is actually um, minimal gapping. So the drills kind of snap together in place, which is awesome, especially, especially since this was a poured glue and poured glue tends to um, be a tiny bit slipperier, slipperier than um, double-sided adhesive. So it's been nice to be able to kind of slip the the drills into place. So I've been happy with that. I only wish all um, all diamond painting companies would do less, um, would have less. What do you call that? Gapping, because it's annoying. It's annoying. The gapping. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one. I don't know. Is this one gonna fit in there? I know there's 16, but this is a pretty much full coverage. So I think I might just use one of my 28 drill containers for it. Um, so I, I'll do this last one here. Um, since this one only has six colors. There are two legends, just making sure before I cut this out. So there's only six colors in this one. So I'll just add it to the last row. Um, and I'll, I'll highlight this one green so that I could have some differentiation. I'm hoping the highlight will stay. Um, I'm going to probably have to let that cool, cool. I mean, dry out for a little bit. So before... So what I could do, meanwhile, while I'm letting that green dry out, is fill up my journal here with the next one, which will be this flower curling down painting. <laughs> yeah. Did I put my number on this one? Nope, I didn't put my number on this one. So this one's 415. Number 415. That's the area code of San Francisco. Um, and I'm going to put in 415 right there, just so that I know that that one's 415. So next one here is that picture I wonder if I'll have the a voice left to to record a kidding down I know I should have probably recorded my kidding down first or oh, maybe I'll just hold off till next weekend or tomorrow um, or yeah next weekend wait it's next weekend I think next weekend is president's well for me it's pres uh, is not president's day Martin Luther King Day weekend, so it'll be a extra long weekend for me. So maybe I'll just hold off on my kidding down till next weekend. So because instead of doing it after this, President's Day weekend might have passed. Away. I mean, not President. Um, Martin Luther King Day. Like I said, I'm recording this 24 by um, 34. So I'm, I'm recording this two weeks before this is getting posted, so it's just I had two packages come this week, so I got two kidding ups to do. So this is a partial drill with poured glue. There is six colors only in this thing, and this is the tiny bag for it. So... One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. 
So three, three specials and three crystal rhinestones. And there are, there is a crystal code to this and it's still 1-8-2022. Um, so I'm hoping the green on this is dry already. Yep. And then I could write down that this one is, what number is this one? And this one is 414 in my inventory. So, and I could write down 414 here, hopefully. Um, and let's take out my double-sided tape again here. It's been working out so far. And it's probably a stronger adhesive than, than my labels. And here's the backing for the thumbnail picture here. Put that there. And I'm probably going to need more labels for this just because And I'll use these tiny labels. Though I like bought these labels thinking I was going to use it to label something else and not realizing how tiny they were. And then I just kept it anyway. Um, <laughs> the hazards of you buying things online is that you don't see how small they are until you actually get them and you're like, oh, these are super, super small. <laughs> so I think I'm going to need two. So... I think one and two are both going to need two, but you know what, let's, yeah, no, there's going to need two. Let's, one, two. And then I'll highlight these green to differentiate them from those ones. Um, so, watch, I don't even need the second bottle, I mean the second box and I'm going to be able to fit them into into just one yeah I don't think that's gonna fit so it'll be in two containers I don't think it was gonna fit the second bag so use and I, I was only I put the highlight in there too so that it doesn't get confused with these ones there so number 10 the hazards of kidding up more than one project in the same um, in the same bottle I mean in the same containers in the same outer container um, it's just I need to get down so I could have more containers. Oh, I still need to do this one here. I need to kit down so I can get more containers. Although I do have more storage, it's just not, you know, they, they might be just overkill for these small projects, so... I guess I need more small storage. I'm like talking about like buying more storage even though I have a couple, I have several empty ones right now. I, you know, they're just meant for bigger projects. And apparently I don't have enough big projects going on. I need, I just should just kit up random big projects. And then I feel like maybe if I kit them up, I'll actually do them. Um, <laughs> Instead of, you know, I don't know. Because, yeah. If I kit it up. There's like a couple places in my wall that I kind of want to fill. And um, I don't tend to hang these small ones. Um, I, do, I do put some of them on my wall. But um, the ones on my wall tend to be the 40 by 50s and above. Um, so... Most of that time, everything else just goes into my portfolio book because I do them for fun. And you can still look at the pictures in the portfolio book. 
So, so yeah. But it is nice seeing them on the wall. And I do have, my mom's like, you have so much wall space that you could put in. And I'm like, yes, I know. I'm just too lazy to, um, to do the hanging part. Like, I don't mind the framing part. I don't like the hanging the frame part. Um, I don't know why. So I do have things that are framed that are just not hung up. And um, yeah. It's not so bad at my work because I could just... Um, I have like those just like foam sides and stuff so that you can just hang it on there. Although with my new role, I actually have an office and we're not allowed to put anything on the walls. So I'm done with this container here and I, I kitted up four different done paintings on that. I'm going to use my, one of my 28 drill containers that are connected for this one. Um, and I think this will be the last done painting I kit up. I don't think I'm going to do this one. Um, although this looks really, really awesome. I kind of want to do it. <laughs> um, I think, I think I don't, I just don't want to kit that other one up and then not finish it. So, um, I think this one I'll just, I'll just do these partial ones and, um, because I know these ones have a higher possibility of being finished and I am working on a couple. I do kind of want to, I kind of want to finish some of my stash of already kitted up diamond paintings that I just never finished or never started. So next one, I'll do it there. Oh, I'm going to have to probably print out um, my my thing again. I just printed a, a couple of them. Where's my pictures? There it is. My toucan here. My toucan picture. And here it is. And let's see, what is this? One is, where's my measuring tape? Oh, there it is. I have too many things on my desk. So it's a 24 by 34. 24 by 34. Um, this I'm gonna call this a full drill because it's practically full poured glue. There is 16 colors in this one and There is no crystal code so none and it's still 1 8 2022 um, And let's see That's 16 so let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, 10. There's 10 crystal rhinestones and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 specials. So that does equal 16. Um, and let's use this here, 28 drill container. Oh yeah. I was going to make my labels. It's just going to do the same thing I've been doing. Yeah, no, I'll need the wider tape. Where is the end here? And make my labels from this. So if you don't have a Xyron sticker maker or you're just not in a country where the Xyron sticker maker is available, you could just do this way. Just add some double-sided tape. Um, I don't know how well it would work to remove it from the containers, but I figure with my canvas, it's not going to be that bad. Okay, so this is too short, but I do have some of this label paper from my, my like this part here. So my label backing here. So this one's a longer one. So I can do it on here. And I'm mainly putting it onto the backing so I could do the easier cuts and, and have it not fall apart into many, many pieces. And then I would have to peel each one back one by one. That does not sound like fun. 
Oh wait, and this one, the toucan is my inventory number 418. 418, so let me write 418 on that one. So, oh yeah, I forgot these are the ones connected together. So, 418. You know, my sister um, gave me some drills that she, um, because she diamond painted something for me and she gave me back the drills. She actually put the, the thing this way, so it was, yeah. It was different. I was like, oh, I never thought of it doing it that way, but... But, you know, I just gave her the container, and that's how she kitted it up. Um, and I think that way, you know, you also have it open this way instead of open that way. Um, like the things people do differently that you don't even think about doing because you've been doing it this way for a while. <laughs> uh, two is pretty full, so I'm gonna probably need two containers for this one. Oh, there's some static on this one. Oh, I have one left in there. Oh, I have another one left in there. No drill left behind because I don't have so many leftovers at all. I'm just, I'm being sarcastic, FYI. <laughs> but it is nice to have these, um, these here because, you know, it is fun to bling up your diamond painting. Um, I feel like I need to do more round diamond paintings. I've been doing all, too many specials. I don't know. But the specials are just so much fun to do, and since they're all kind of hand charted, um, it ends up looking exactly like it's supposed to be. Not like sometimes, like you know, the diamond paintings that you know sometimes you're disappointed by how the end looks because it's just weirdly, um, what do you call it? weirdly weird? Why can't I think of words? It's weirdly charted or something. While these ones are like pretty much look exactly like what they're supposed to look like because they're pretty much just following the outlines of things. And that's why a lot of these special ones look really really awesome when they're done. Um, so then after after doing a bunch of like special shape ones, you you like do a regular diamond painting. You're like, oh, why is it so pixelated? I can't tell the outlines and stuff like that. And as much as I dislike sometimes the outlines on, you know, some diamond paintings, because sometimes there is a point where you could over hand chart because outlines are added to things that have no business being outlined. Um, <laughs> It is sometimes nice in the more um, cartoony images to have the outlines. Um, and especially if you're going to have writing in there, um, you, you need to have it be charted as like one color. I, I feel like that's one of the best ways to make the writing pop is that you actually, like if it, they chart it with like 50 million colors, I actually suggest um, just diamond painting it with just one color so that's nice and solid. Unless you kind of want, like, unless you want, like, a multicolor look, um, sometimes it's better just to chart the words with one color. Just breathing in there to add some moisture so it doesn't have so much static. I wonder if it's because I've been kidding up for a while and my hands are getting drier. Um, maybe my mouth is not adding enough. <laughs> Me talking in here is not adding enough moisture in the air. Um, so, nine. 
So, yeah. Not that this one has words. But I think, what was this? I, there was a, um, I don't know what I was going to say anymore. Um, wow, the, that just flew out of there. Um, that's static. <laughs> Man, I was doing so good with the static. Or lack thereof. So... Probably because I'm kidding. I think how many- I don't even know how many I kitted up today. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the seventh one I've kitted up. I think I kitted up right before this four or five diamond paintings. I can't even remember. Um, so yeah, I did like today I've kitted up like maybe ten diamond paintings. Um, they were all specials. Mainly because I do, I do have a couple already not specials that I just want to finish before I start adding in the others into the mix. So, I was going to say I don't have enough. 14 is a lot. So, I might just go into the next container. Because it might just be one, one whole container. Because there are two really full bags, so I probably need two containers per bag, so... I, I breathed into it a little bit to hopefully lessen down some of the static that I was seeing. So, let me breathe into it again. I still see some static in there. Not not enough not enough hot air in in me too. No. I see some static. I did that little bit of breathing in, pour in as much as possible and then do another breathe into it. So, now I still see some static there. I did buy, it, it hasn't gotten to me yet, I, I bought a humidifier. Um, I'm hoping that will, I mean, and, and then I'm planning to run it in this room where I do my kidding all this, so that, well, it's, they say you sleep better with the, when it's not as um, dry, so. I mean, I could always move it, but I was thinking of when I get it, I would run it into the in this room while I'm preparing everything, and then hopefully it would add enough humidity in the room, so during the time of kitting up, it won't be so dry, and hopefully that means less static. Hopefully, hopefully. You know what? I think I might just put this in the end here. So that it, because it's always easier to pour from the edge. I'm hoping it will be that easy to remove later on when I'm kidding down. So I think I think that's all I'm that's all I'm kidding up right now. <laughs> this was a long enough video, right? Long enough. So um. I what kitted up seven diamond paintings here, um, so yeah. So look out for these in a future unboxing from DIY Chews. Um, well, these are going to be over two videos, two unboxing videos. So plenty of things to look at, and here is everything kitted up. So um, that's all for today. So thank you for watching, and happy diamond painting. Bye.